Hi, you're very welcome. And in this video, what I want to show you is a feature in Excel that I often notice that participants are not aware of or they end up doing the work manually. And that is a thing called show values as. So I'm back to my favorite coffee thingamabob here. And I've got my store locations and I've got my sales over here. And let's see, I need to find out, for example, what's the breakdown of sales in percentages, we'll say for each of my store locations. So what I do is I begin, as always, by clicking into the data set. Then I come up to my table design. And then I go to summarize a pivot table. And I'm just going to put on a new worksheet, which is my preference. Okay. And then what I do is that over here on the right hand side, I'm just going to drag my store location down into my rows because I want that to go on the left hand side. And I'm going to drag my sales down into my values down here. All right. So nothing fancy schmancy so far. Let me zoom this up a little bit. Okay. Now, let's say I want to see this as a percentage breakdown. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the sales down again onto my value. So just drag it down a second time. And I'm just going to call this just if you just click on it and then I put down percentage breakdown. Press enter. And if I just do a right click on this number, and then I'm going to go to the option that says show values as, there we go down there. And I'm just going to choose the second one down, which is percentage of grand total. All right, and you see there straight away, it's roughly a third um, of the sales across these ones here. Right. Now, if I want to see more of a breakdown across the months, what I can do is I can come over here to my right hand side. And I'm just going to go to transaction date. So I'm going to drag the date down into my values. All right. And because it's percentage, it tends to put all these columns here. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag off everything except the month. So I just go transaction date. And now I'm going to drag off the values. Well, no, I leave the values there for a second. And you can see there I have the months. OK, so you see I have my January summer sales and so on. So I can see each of the numbers, the breakdown. But for clarity's purposes, what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag off the values again. OK. And just leave down the months. And for some reason, the sales disappear. So I just drag that down. And I'm going to leave down the percentages. So just do a right click, show values as. Now, this time I'm going to go through three of them, which is I'm going to go through the grand total, which is here. Then I'm going to show you the column total and then I'm going to show you the row total. Okay. So I begin here to just make sure you right click on the numbers show values as and I just choose percentage of grand total and you see that that shows me that if I take all the sales for all the locations what percentage for example is the January Astoria sales it's nearly four percent this one here all right so I can look at it there if I want to now then if I want to see a breakdown say by January I could just go right click show values as and I choose the second one down which is percentage of column total, which is here. All right, so right click, show values as percentage of column total, which is here. All right, and see then roughly, again, it's kind of breaking down into a third, roughly. And then if I want to see, okay, what's the breakdown across the months of all these different sales, I can do a right click, show values as, and I choose percentage of row total. All right, and you see there, if I add up all these numbers here, they go across and they do a row, it gives me 100%. What I could do then at this point, if I want to, is add a chart. So I just click into the pivot table. I'll try pivot table, analyze, go to my pivot chart. And I like a line chart because it shows a trend. So I click on the line chart and then I click over here. All right. Now I'm kind of, I'm not too happy about this because I want to show the trend across time. So what I do is I click on the chart, bring it down a little bit. And then if I come up here to my pivot chart analyze, which is up here. And then what I can do then is, and I always do the same damn thing, go to design. This one here, and I just go to switch row column. All right, and now you can see the breakdown across the different months as I go through. Okay. And again, if you don't, some people really do not like the um, headings across here. So I can go to format. And click on pivot chart analyze and just I can hide my field buttons up here idle 
All right. And then I can also use these options here if I want to add a chart and so on. Chart element, I can say chart title, and I can say just say um, percentage breakdown of sales. Sales by location and month. Location and month. All right, there we go. And then if I want to add maybe a couple of data labels, yeah, that probably doesn't work really too much, but let's say I've just got them here and move that across. All right. So I hope you found this useful. Now there's a lot more in that break, that show values as, but it should be enough if you like, just to get you up and running. All right. So mind yourself and take care. Bye.